Meet Anthony Poole. He's a bioinformatician at the University of Auckland. I sat down with him in Auckland during a conference, and we talked about his specialty, which is the origin of RNA. For example, the path from the RNA world, or the nature of the last universal common ancestor. I sat down with him and we talked about the question, of course, are we alone? What is your name? My name is Anthony Poole. And are you an expert in my microbes or bacteria or um, DNA or what? I guess my, my background is molecular evolution. Molecular evolution. Yes. Oh, good. And are we alone in the universe? Uh, well, we don't know the answer, but um, my guess is maybe not, but I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is maybe not if you don't know. Okay, yeah. so when you say maybe not, what, what is that based on? Well, um, it seems that we have a, an enormous... We've not been looking very long. We've got this enormous universe. We're just starting to figure out ways to look. We don't really know how to look properly yet. Um, so I'm glass half full, and I suspect there were just sheer probabilities there's going to be something out there. I would bet in favor of that we would find multiple ways to, to um, start life up and that the parameters may be broader than we think. There's nothing particularly about the process of evolution that uh, should lead to more complex systems, but if you just add time, and this is something Stephen Jay Gould has pointed out, um, if you start off at one particular point, so at some level position that we call simple, simple for example, then uh, you can move away from simple um, and keep keep going over over long enough periods of time. That doesn't mean that there is a um, an advantage or a disadvantage to greater complexity, but it can happen. Do you think anything like humans would re-evolve? Um, I think so, actually. I think so. Because? And the reason I think so is that what we've worked out how to do is that we've worked out a generalist strategy. So instead of having specialist appendages like big fangs or um, armor, uh, uh, armor on us and so on, we worked out, you know, we've got uh, tools in the way of our hands that are allowing us to do a, a fashion our environment in many, many different ways. So that's provided us with an opportunity to be very successful generalists. Uh, I can't see that it wouldn't be possible on the knowledge of current biology for other lineages of uh, life to adapt to um, their environments in a similar way. I don't think we're as special as we'd like to think. So let's think about the future. Instead of going to the past, let's go to the future. Let's say we kill ourselves in World War III and we wipe out all primates. Mm -hmm. Uh, what organism will evolve into the technological species in the intel? You think there's an intelligence? Well, I don't know the answer to that one, but I don't think it's as uh, implausible, especially given that we have uh, mammals uh, already. There's plenty of other lineages that have similar abilities to use their, you know, their front um, feet or their paws in a way that uh, allows them to um, manipulate uh, items in their environment. Um, so raccoons. Yeah, raccoons or even rats or mice will do these things. It's, it's so how long will you give them before they invent a camera and a rocket ship? <laughs> I'm not going to give them any time time limit. If they do it, that's great. I won't but be around said, to see it. You said you wouldn't be surprised if they did. I wouldn't though. be surprised because I don't think it's as special as we, we, we think. We, if you think about uh, the lineage we came from and, and you say, okay, what about the, you know, um, the, the primates? There are plenty of primates that are not that different from, say, you know, raccoons, or you look at things like lemurs and so on, there's, there's not that much uh, to say, oh yeah, it's really clear that the lineage that um, these guys are part of really is going to produce humans. They've simil there are similar features to, to those, uh, a, a range of different uh, mammalian groups.